continues our team coverage and explains how the Greenbrier Resort is now the only shelter for many in the Mountain State. The Greenbrier Resort here in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, was supposed to be a buzz with activity getting ready for the Greenbrier Classic Golf Tournament. Instead, Mother Nature has made things a whole different story. This is not the scene golf fans and vacationers are used to seeing. Instead of trimming the greens and setting up grandstands for the world famous Greenbrier Classic, workers are out assessing the far reaching damage and chaos. Until you see it and smell it and live it with the people, you can't imagine it. Floods devastated much of southern West Virginia, leaving 23 people dead and hundreds more homeless. It's heartbreaking to see everything that's going on. 200 people now without homes are staying at the Greenbrier, where they are also getting food and water. That number is expected to grow, but the dry spots are running low. Like there's only so much of the hotel that hasn't been affected by the damage that we can keep open, so we're going to accommodate as many people as we possibly can. Across the street from the hotel, Greenbrier Care is offering free tetanus shots to anyone who needs them. They started out with about 700 shots and are now down to roughly 30. We've had all age groups come through. Oldest person here at the moment is 93. We've had some pretty small babies come as well. More tetanus shots are expected to come in over the next few days. They have been bought and donated from all over the region. For those working on the ground level, these last few days have been unlike anything they've ever seen. It's more devastating than uh, other parts of the world, third world countries that I've worked in. Leaders here at the Greenbrier say they are still assessing the damage and they are unsure of when the resort will reopen to the public. In White Sulphur Springs, Bethany Teague, WSLS 10.